longing every day. Mm -hmm. Gather around, children, for another vlog. I'm here to tell you something. It's an important, I don't care. That's for you to find out. What I wanna share is gonna be life-changing, and if it's not life-changing, it's not gonna be life-changing, but that's okay. What is truly life-changing on the internet? Nothing is. Everything promises to be. This new foam mattress that comes all smushed up in a plastic bag is gonna change your sleep, but does it really? No, it doesn't. You know what changes your life? Little things, little tiny bits. That, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, a little thing. Man, I really should have been selling something, you know, with that passion, with that drive, some sort of ointment or cult. Man, I had you wrapped around my finger. Quick video today, it's kind of similar to last week's, and it's just because a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, needed a self-taping audition setup. He's an actor, and you know how these days with COVID, everything is remote, everything is done at home. Uh, including your auditions now. You know, me as a director, I see lots of home auditions and I see a lot of them are pretty terrible. You know, a lot of them are okay and that's fine because it's really just the performance that I'm looking for. Putting a little bit extra into how you present yourself makes all the difference. It's just subtle things that can change and push you over the edge versus someone else. I do weigh a performer's performance, but I also have a gut feeling about how professional they are gonna be on set. And if your setup at home, if you're an actor, is good and you take it seriously because it doesn't take much, that's gonna help you. So a friend of mine who's an actor needed help with a self-tape setup. This is it, this is it literally lighting me right now. And I wanted to make him something that was all on one stand, could sort of be collapsed a little bit and put into a closet um, rather than having a bunch of stands. And also, I don't really love the look of ring lights. I get the job done, but they look a little artificial and I just wanted to do an experiment to see if this sort of setup would work better. You know, on real film sets, you can mount two lamps or two lights on one light stand and those are called, I think, a double header or something. I used one a few weeks ago in a commercial where we needed like a headlight gag. So you wanted to just make sure there were two, two lights moving, you know, a fake headlights coming through a window of, of our set. So they had like a double header something. I forget what the DP called it. So, you know, with my newfound experience of using steel pipe from last week's video, I just ran back to the hardware store and got some more. I know I used a tap and die set in this, and I know that's sort of like beyond the average person's toolbox. And the truth is if I didn't use the tap and die, which I did, it probably would have turned out even a little bit better. A $2 drill bit to just drill through both sides and just put a bolt through both layers of the pipe to hold whatever you're filming with on would actually do better than what I did today.
this isn't just for actor self tapes. I'm a huge proponent of figuring out your story and your thing before you go out and buy gear. Because I know, you know, if you're a vlogger, you're supposed to buy this Aperture 120D Mark II light or whatever, and I own that light. And I've shown you guys cheaper alternatives before, but there's so much you can do with very little gear. So this is like a really cheap $100 LED, and it's just shooting through one of my photography umbrellas, one of the cheapest diffusions for photography. And they come in a few styles where you can flash a light into them and it bounces back a nice soft light, or some of them are translucent like this one, and you can just shoot light right through it. I hope you liked this little setup. It's something you can do for next to nothing. I would just recommend um, putting it on at a little bit of a beefier stand. Um, this one is on a really nice cushioned, what you would call maybe a heavier duty light stand. I would say it's like a $60 stand. And when I do my setup for real, I'll have it on this rolling C stand that I bought a few weeks ago, which I absolutely love because it just wheels around. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I enjoyed it. I really did. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because um, if you didn't enjoy it as much as I did, I don't know what the f doing all of this for.